Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got space weather to run down. There are two brand new and critical space weather data sets to share, and there's a new paper out describing a magnetic analysis of Brazil over the last few centuries. Lots of things confirmed. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that after a couple eruptive snaps of filaments north departing, top right, and near the polar crown, it was a pretty quiet day. Coronal hole departing, more sunspots and filaments incoming, and when we zoom in a bit, hope you can see those four or five small dark plasma filaments there facing Earth today, so they will be monitored for eruptive activity. And that's also because the sunspots pose a far lower threat of that eruptive activity aimed at Earth. The incoming active regions may be several, but they are not a one of them ready for big solar flares without more growth and higher complexity levels of their magnetism. Meanwhile, folks, it appears the level 2 solar storm conditions were the peak of this week's events. One of this week's events missed Earth entirely. Totally minor solar storm event overall driven by the initial CME impacts we identified the last couple mornings and now the faster solar wind of the coronal hole is blowing by. Purple panel second from the bottom shows plasma speed pushing 600 kilometers per second here this morning. While we were still seeing some M-class flare activity the last day or two, almost all of it has been from the northern departing group. You can see its bright presentation here in 94 angstroms. When it finally turns and crests over to the far side today, the solar flaring levels should drop out. Folks, brand new solar flare data set, speaking of the things, this one is at Harvard and has a wild amount of specific data on solar flares since the 1930s. Massive haul there for my fellow data geeks. And we also have a new geomagnetic storm database. This one is by NASA, and both of these new databases are about to flood the journals with new analyses. I'm hoping for some clear-cut ties of these data with weather and seismic especially since the vast majority of those scientists have only been using solar irradiance for the last 30 years. Lastly today, folks, the decrease in Earth's magnetic field has been confirmed by ground stations in Brazil. They also show that just as we saw in the October 10th morning news show, the South Atlantic anomaly was not there before this pole shift began taking off. They do also suggest the actual weakening of the field may have began as early as the 1600s, but overall, more confirmation of the downward spiral we are all on together magnetically. Folks, tickets to the winter tour are available below. This is a four-hour masterclass on surviving the coming disaster event on Earth. Five cities in five months. Get your tickets at the link below. We only have a few events left this year at Observer Ranch. Self-offense training November 1st after the Halloween event. Observer speed dating 2.0 the 7th and 8th. Come find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. Film premiere in the last Pole Shift Conference of the Year, middle of next month. Come out for the end of our rookie season, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.